providing learning opportunities for all kinds of learners um, allows the student to excel in different parts of my courses. So that person who can produce a great video clip, patient education piece, uh, a how to create a PowerPoint, whatever it is, the, pay, the student who can do that very effectively may be really challenged in writing papers. And so why would I put them in the box of writing the paper? And um, I have a, a student right now who is um, a, a veteran who has PTSD and um, has some problems with written word. And his provider calls it um, writing aphasia. I have never heard the term, but it makes sense. And he went through three semesters without sharing that with any of us. And only last week, literally last week, when we were about to say, you know, you're not going to be successful in this program, was he comfortable in saying this is the case, getting his accommodations validated, all of this stuff. And I asked him at that point in time, I said, did you know all along that you needed to be dictating your papers? And he said, yes. And I said, you didn't have to have permission to do that. But he felt like he did. And so things that make very common sense to me are not always understood to the student. And so I have to be genuine enough and open enough that they feel like they can say, you know, I really need to do this. Uh, and I will do a speak to text program. And I know I'm still responsible for uh, APA formatting. And we can contract with that. And it has to be just that individual. Whether it's a disability or not, if my preference is, if my first language is uh, creative reflection, then I feel like part of my role is um, successful faculty is to allow you to be your best because that's where you're going to learn and that's where you're going to transform healthcare and that's where you're going to translate the facts and figures into workable knowledge and that's what's important to me. I think it starts at our first meeting with students because if we create relationships with people whether they're students or whomever um, that are open and reciprocal. Um, I'm a professor and you're a student, but we're both human beings. I think students leave you little breadcrumbs. As the student who always prefaces a paper with, Dr. Tillman, I'm no good at writing, but here you go, um, is asking me in, in my mind to say, well, why do you feel that way? 